What's up everybody, JR Riemann back again coming to you from Bowler X Pro Shop and Training Center here inside Waterford Lanes, where today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that bicep issue that I had. Uh, I had some issues where I left the Players' Championship a little sore on the bicep for some reason, like I was trying to do too much to the ball or something. Uh, and then when I practiced a couple days later, I felt that twinge again during the reviews. You guys probably saw in some of the reviews. So I'm gonna explain what happened there uh, and maybe try and help you prevent those things from happening here as well. Stay tuned. All right, so first up, make sure to subscribe. All right, hit that subscribe button for me. I need everybody to subscribe to the channel. I get like, it's like 60-30. I got 60% of my viewership comes from non-subscribers and then the other 30% are from subscribers. So I need you to make sure, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and make sure to click that join button as well for your chance to win bowling balls. I'm giving away a bowling ball coming up this next weekend uh, from the US Open. I got two different bowling balls being given away. There's gonna be a link in the description for you to sign up. Hit the join button and then you click that link in the description to sign up so that way you are eligible for winning these two balls of choice um, but this past week I had some issues with my bicep and a lot of it I found out was because of my shoes because it was a, a timing thing that was causing me to overslide. And when I overslide, it makes me uh, try to stop. So now I'm leaning back, trying to pull up on it. Um, and so I'm trying to stop and then I'm pulling up and it's putting pressure on my bicep. Um, so when I come over here, give you the view from the back and the side a little bit. As I'm coming through, if I'm still sliding when I'm coming through, it makes me kind of stop and stand up on it and go this way, trying to get the ball through. And even when I do that, I can really, I can even feel that little bit going this way through my arm and I'm trying to stop everything from coming through and it puts that pressure on my bicep you know so I didn't want to do that so I have to make sure that as I'm coming through I'm stopped oh bad balance I'm stopped and then the ball comes through and I can stay forward with my body more in a good position here rather than feeling like I'm back this way up on my heel coming upward okay so that's where the issue came in so I don't want to demonstrate <laughs> the shot of being sliding too much because it hurts, but I'm going to demonstrate my good proper technique that makes it to where it doesn't hurt. So I keep everything under, up underneath me. I'm not coming up this way and feeling like I'm falling backwards. It keeps all of my stability, my leverage, and everything right up underneath me. So if you ever feel like something's out of whack, um, kind of check your slide. Are you sliding too much? Are you not coming to a stop before you're releasing the ball? Because if you're still moving when you're trying to release it, I know actually Randy Peterson just said something on the TV show the other day. They're doing research, and I'd love to see this research on the slide in the flat spot. They said the longer your slide, the bigger flat spot you have. Probably true. I'll have to look into that a little bit more. But what I do know is you have to be stopped before that ball comes through. So that way you can create all the leverage and all the power, stopped, then the ball shoots through, um, rather than sliding and everything coming through this way. That makes you kind of go this way and up. And it's like, whoa, you know, kind of like the, uh, the old Marshall Holman days where he's still sliding and throwing the ball as he's coming through. If you're still sliding and then trying to stop, everything has to go upright. That's just how it works. So make sure that your slide foot is going towards your target and you are stopped before you release the ball through. Okay, so just check these things the next time you bowl. Maybe it's not an issue for you. It's okay if it's not, you don't have to work about it. You don't have to worry about it. Um, but that's all I got for you today. Again, make sure to subscribe, like, comment, do all those things. And until next time, I'm out of here. We'll see you guys later.